Amphidophobia is the fear of snakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is possibly the most common subcategory of herpetophobia, the fear of reptiles. Yes, okay, so I have this phobia quite intensely, as people know. I didn't even realize it was a snake. It's so green that it looked like just green. I didn't even see a snake there. Uh, yes, snakes are absolutely terrifying. Just the idea that there could be a snake. Sometimes I get it in my head, like, if I'm not looking at my feet, I think oh, there could be a snake at my feet and I don't know. But I know there's not because I'm like in a condo in Canada amongst concrete. There's no snakes here. Hippopotamenstrosequipedalophobia. That's exactly right. I got it right. Unfortunately for people who are afraid of long words, the name of this phobia really doesn't help. The fear is often brought upon by being laughed at while reading or pronouncing long words, usually in school aged children. Okay, facts. I had this. I didn't know there was a name for it. I just look, thought we all felt the same way. I hated reading aloud in class when I was younger because I was so scared that I was gonna stumble over a word and people would laugh and then I would get red in the face and then everyone would know I'm embarrassed and then they'd laugh at me more because I'm embarrassed. And then I would have a shaky voice. I always had a shaky voice when I was read aloud when I was younger. I just thought we all felt that way, did we not? I don't think anyone enjoys being in a class and reading aloud. I was always the smart one that was like, I know, I'm great at reading. It's like, good for you, okay? No one wants to be talking at all in this class. Like, I just wanted to be a mute. I wanted no one to acknowledge my existence. I wanted to be invisible. Are you afraid of spiders? Yes, I am. Do you check the ceiling and corners of a room for any sign of a spider? Yes, every day. Do you check your shoes to make sure they don't have any eight-legged monsters waiting to attack your toes? Yeah, I shake my shoes. Or maybe you check under the bed before going to sleep to make sure there aren't any creepy spiders that may crawl on you at night. My bed meets the floor. The unreasonable fear of spiders is known as arachnophobia. Unreasonable. Is reasonable. Unreasonable. It's not unreasonable. Thank you. It's very reasonable. Spiders are productive members of our society. There are also many poisonous spiders not out there. Not in Canada. What I poisonous spiders live in black Canada widow. that would get into your apartment? Is there a black widow here? I don't know. Well, it's not gonna get into your apartment. It will find a way. It'll find a way. It's cold out. I don't, yeah, black it needs a Black widows aren't home. happy in the cold. Yeah, it's trying to get into my home to no, keep no, warm. No, 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 no. Cuddle up with me in bed and bite me and kill me and I'll wake well, up dead. Well, if it cuddles up with you in bed and bites you and kills you, it'll be cold then. This will be a cold, dead body. A clue phobia is fear of the dark. Look, is the Greek for darkness and phobia means fear. It is one of the hundreds of phobias that affects millions of Americans. It is simple phobia, meaning it is specific to the environment of darkness. Okay, to be fair, I fear the dark. I don't have a crippling fear of the dark, like I can go to bed with my lights off, but I do get that fear when I have to get up in the middle of the night and that all the lights are off and I have to go to the bathroom, you know? I think everyone kind of fears the dark because it's the fear of the unknown that something might be lurking in the shadows. I don't fear like, supernatural par like paranormal stuff in the dark like ghosts or demons like nah i invite them but more so like walking home at night alone and that's also because i'm a woman so i have other fears that men might not nomophobia nomophobia shortened from no mobile phone phobia describes the fear of not having a phone that's so persistent and severe it affects daily life me every day i think all of us i can't go to the bathroom without my phone my phone is always attached to my body. It's like, what if I go to the bathroom and I miss an important call? It's like, what am I gonna do? There's, <laughs> there's stakes here. I'm so, it's so bad. I think we're all relying on technology now. I can't, I've gotta have it with me all the time. Hepatophobia. Hepatophobia is a common specific phobia, which consists of fear or aversion to reptiles, commonly lizards and snakes, and similar vertebrates as amphibians. It is one of the most diffused animal phobias, very similar and related to aphidophobia. Mm. This condition causes a slight to severe emotional reaction, as for example anxiety, panic attack or most commonly nausea. Panic attack. I don't mind lizards, I just can't f*** this sick. Can't f*** snakes. But like snakes are just lizards without limbs. I know, if they had limbs I'd feel better about it. Wiggle it. It's the fact that they don't have limbs and they wiggle around and then they f***. They charge like fuck. They strike. I love yeah. how a snake, a snake strikes. But that's, Ashed. it's just the fact Ashed. that they can Ashed. strike with just their body. What the fuck? They've what? developed into, you know, perfect slithering machines. No, I don't appreciate it. I'm not here for it. I hate them all. But lizards, 
I can f with them. The lizard? I can f with a lizard. Hemophobia is an extreme fear of seeing blood or getting tests or shots where blood may be involved. This phobia can have a serious impact on your life, especially if you skip important doctor's appointment. Okay, I'm laughing because I literally just had this conversation with my friend the other day. We were talking about blood work and oh, I can't remember how the conversation came up, but she was talking about how she had blood taken. And I was like, oh, I always have to look when blood is getting taken specifically out of here. I have to look, but I think it comes from a place of nerves, is that when I'm looking, I get the giggles. So I must look insane to nurses because they're literally drawing blood from my arm and I'm staring at it and laughing. Why am I that crazy? But yeah, I don't know what it is. I have to, I think it's a form of control, like because someone's literally got a needle in your arm and it's taking something that belongs to you. <laughs> So I think my, it's me having to look. I need to watch it happening. Cyberphobia. This phobia is often experienced by older adults who are having trouble adapting to using new technologies like computers, tablets, or smartphones. It is often worsened by feelings of low self-esteem or fears about being judged harshly. I don't think this is just like older adults. This is everyone. I mean, I think it's everyone. My, I know personally my parents, nightmare with technology. They are getting better, but my mum is the classic type that will type a sentence, leave a space, and then put the punctuation after. You know, like a space before the period, a space before the explanation point. It's like, why are you doing that? It doesn't need a space. Anyway, parents with technology is frustrating. I have to set up all the technology whenever I'm home. But I get it with the fear of judgment. I think we all have a fear in that regard. This looks like a bunch of like little like little donut holes, you know? I hate holes. That's just like coral, isn't it? Or something like that. I can't look. I can't. Yeah, look. these are like coral-ish like formations, it seems to me. Uh, no, that's I, gross. Nah, that's but that's like a makeup effect. Yeah. That's not real. No, I can't look. Ooh! Oh, oh, but no. Also, no. that's like no. teeth? Like on a doll face? Ah! Uh, ah! That's what gets me when it's like the fake makeup on the hands, like when there's holes on your body. No, no, Chris. <laughs> no, stop it. It's, it makes me very sad and it makes me want to throw up. I have always had that problem with holes. I learned I had this phobia when I would see a tree yeah. covered in holes that where a woodpecker had oh, been. Yeah. That, or oh, it makes me want to throw up. Like I can't look at it. I don't like a lot of one thing in general. It's not necessarily even holes. I just don't like a lot of one thing. Astrophobia is the extreme fear of thunder and lightning and it can affect people of all ages that may be more common in children than adults. It's also seen in animals. Many children who have this fear will eventually outgrow it, but others will continue to experience the phobia and into adulthood. See, this one's insane to me. I completely understand the fear. But for me, and I'm sure many others, thunder and lightning is really relaxing. And I don't know why. Like, it's why so many people listen to, like, weather sounds or, like, the sounds of rain um, to calm them down or help them sleep. Thunder and lightning is so therapeutic to me. And I don't know where that comes from. There's got to be a rhyme and reason for it. And if someone knows, let me know. But yeah, it really makes me feel good. Like when it rains or when it storms, I feel so like comforted. Like I feel so like homey and like, I just want to curl up into a ball with a sweater on and read a book and drink a hot chocolate. Lacanophobia. Lacanophobia is the proper term by which to name one who is afraid of vegetables. Sure, the phobia sounds a bit ludicrous. There's no laughing matter. People who suffer from lacanophobia experience real symptoms at the mere sight of broccoli or bell peppers, ranging from nausea to shortness of breath. That's insane. I can't even imagine. I love vegetables now. Growing up, I hated them. I did have anxiety because, don't know if you guys had it here, but in the UK, they were bloody strict about school lunches. Like, you would have your tray, they'd serve you, and they, or you didn't get to pick and choose. Like, I would get, if it was carrots day, I got carrots with my mashed potatoes, and they wouldn't let you leave until you ate all your carrots. And I hated carrots, so I'd just be like, throwing up in my mouth and swallowing it. But yeah, when I was younger, I definitely had a fear. Now, love carrots, give me them all day long. Nyctophobia, fear of the dark. It's dark! Keegan! <laughs> oh! Stop it! Stop it! I'm wearing black! Stop it! You are too! Stop! Oh my god! Ah! Stop it! Keegan, I'm not f***ing around! Ah! 
Keegan, I swear to God. What's fear of Karen's? Because Lucy's got that. I don't know. I just hate unnecessary loud noise, especially when we've been in trouble for it in the past. <laughs> we haven't been in trouble for it in weeks. They've all they've forgotten yeah, about it. Yeah, because we've quieted down, and then you were in here screaming. I don't think I've ever been yelled at for screaming, except at home, at school, at other jobs, and by my girlfriend. Or oh, now when I'm screaming at you. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't even see the full video because I was too busy screaming at Keegan. The, vi the video wasn't even freaking me out. I was more freaked out by this. Pognophobia is a word that refers to an intense fear of dislike of beards, like other phobias of or irrational fears. Pognophobia may seem silly to people who do not experience it, yet for thousands of sufferers worldwide, it is a very real fear that often affects their mental health and well-being. Oh my god. Like, honestly, I don't like beards. If you know me, you know why. <laughs> I have a preference. It's not for beards. <laughs> but that's crazy. Yeah, when I see a man like this Hagrid picture, when I see that, I just think of dirt. Like, I dirty food in a beer. But yeah, if I, I, yeah, I can't imagine having a fear like it make, gives me a panic attack or I can't focus because of a beard. But yeah, my preference is no beard. Somnophobia. Somnophobia causes extreme anxiety and fear around the thought of going to bed. This phobia is also known as Hypnophobia, clinophobia, sleep anxiety or sleep dread. Sleep disorders can cause some anxiety around sleeping. I can't imagine being scared to go to sleep. Going to sleep is my favorite part of the day. I get excited at the thought of getting into bed or fresh sheets. Maybe I've had a bath, you know, and I'm in bed, I've watched a good show, and then I get to fall asleep to my, you know, uh, fake scenarios in my head. That's my favorite part. Which is called cultrophobia. Cultural. Cultural. Cultrophobia. The fear of blues. Cultrophobia. Hello, Mrs. Glenn. May I have a bowl of soup? This doesn't phase me too much. I'm no, alright with clowns. I'm not bothered by clowns. Sometimes in movies, I'm like, I'm okay not looking at you. Like yeah. I like. But Penny... you they, they try really hard. Like it's not the fact that it's a clown; it's that they try really hard to make it scary. You know? Yeah. Like, like we can show you a regular clown, you'd be like, meh. A normal person dressed as a clown, I'm like, meh. But if like I, I'm sure if Pennywise showed up, I'd be like, oh. Well, even Pennywise, like it's like I get it, but like it's more like what Pennywise represents that scares me, not the yeah. fact that he's a clown. Yes. You know, like it could be just anything. Like, like Pennywise is the scariest looking thing on earth. I'm like, nah. no, he's not. Nah. He looks like Bill Skarsgård with a funky makeup job, or you know, he looks like um, Tim Curry. Like Tim Curry, right? Yeah. Like, t Pennywise is scary no matter what form he's taking. Like, we, when he was the old woman, naked at the beginning of It too. Spicy. Like, spicy. Spicy. Spicy stuff. Ca catoptrophobia is an abnormal and persistent fear of mirrors often caused by negative past experience. Sufferers of this experience undue anxiety about encountering mirrors. This phobia can become quite irrational if left untreated. Uh, is this... A fear of seeing one's like own appearance? Or is it come from I know mirrors some people believe in mirrors to be the gateway to the spirit realm sometimes. Is that I don't understand where the fear comes from. Whether it's the fear of looking at yourself, maybe it comes from like a deep hatred of how someone appears or how you see yourself. Or if it's to do with something else and something more paranormal or supernatural. I don't know, but that's frightening. Yeah, I can't, I mean, there are some days I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, cover that up. Ablutophobia. Ablutophobia is the overwhelming fear of bathing, cleaning, or washing. It's an anxiety disorder that falls under the category of specific phobias. That's horrific. I mean, it makes sense why some people don't bathe. And there are some people you're like, why? You would just want to say bathe, get in the bath, you know? I love a bath. I have one like at least every other day. I like, it's the only way I unwind after a long day. If I don't have a bath, I'm just a ball of anxiety. Don't like open water, but I like a bath. Pediophobia. In relation to automatonophobia, the fear of inhumanoid, or the fear of humanoid figures. Children pretend their toys come to life. My toys did come to life. A child's imagination often confuses what is make-believe and what is real. 
When I was young, my toys moved. I swear to God, they did. Yeah, I but swear. which toys? Were they dolls or were they other things? No, there were a lot of different things. Like, I didn't separate my toys. Like, they all hung out together. I didn't want to discriminate. Yeah. So I had my Beanie Babies with, you know, maybe my Woody action figure because, you know, I well, wanted Woody's to... Woody's going to come to life here. Woody Indeed, is always That's just, like, around. inherent in his woodiness. Yeah. And then I had my Barbies and then my Big Bears. And they all just chilled together. And then I'd put them in certain positions, close the door, come back, and, like, they're chilled somewhere else or like they fell over and I'm like they moved they've been around they hear me coming and they're like Lucy's coming drop Limp. but I also feel like everyone does that in life regardless of when like whether you're a doll or not even if you're human you hear me coming and everyone's like Lucy's coming hide Achemophobia is a phobia of sharp pointed objects. Those affected will feel anxious, worried, and fearful around any object that is sharp and could cause harm. This could include pencils, pens, needles, pins, scissors, and other common household items. Holy sh Okay, so being scared of just sharp things. I mean, understandable. They can be dangerous, but fearing a pencil can't relate. Pencil reminds me of school and I feared school. School sucked. I feared school just because I wasn't academic in that way. Although I'm now an academic, which is weird. It was like now I would kill school, but it's also because I'm 28 now. Puppophobia. Puppophobia is the fear of puppets. This phobia is slightly common, but not as common as ghoulrophobia, fear of clowns, and pediophobia, fear of dolls. I mean, okay, fear of puppets, I get. They're weird. They move like this, and there's always someone controlling them. It's weird just move freely i also don't like ventriloquist dolls it does remind me of slappy it's not right there's demons in them you can see you just i just wanted to shove my fist in its mouth you know all the misfortune Pathophobia. the bad news is that the rest of the people <gasps> don't know about has this fear, it right? he's in a coffin <laughs> hey the poor guy do you want some advice Keep calm. The deeper you breathe, the more you spend oxygen, which you have enough for one to two hours. Oh, Try to breathe deeply and exhale slowly. This will help prolong your life, which is not needed by anyone. Which is not needed by anyone? <laughs> that's funny. That's. I think terrifying. everyone has the fear of being buried alive. I think that's normal. Like, I yeah. mean, I don't think about it every day, but if someone said, what would you be scared if you were buried alive? I would say, yes, yes, I would be scared. That would be a terrible, terrible thing. Did you ever see the movie starring Ryan, Ryan Reynolds called Buried? No. Oh, he gets buried alive and the whole movie is yes. just inside of a coffin. And it's so incredibly cla claustrophobic. And I saw it at the movie theater and it was just like, you felt like you couldn't breathe. And then the whole time it's just him on the phone with a person trying to find him to rescue him. Wow. And it's, I was gonna spoil the ending, but I went. That's crazy. Are they like flashbacks though? Like they can't make the whole movie. Uh, no, the whole thing? movie is in the coffin and wow. it's so well done. I suggest you watch it. It's very, very good. Like you just can't breathe throughout. Bonkers. Yeah. Aerophobia, fear of flying. It's called aerophobia. Fear of getting on a plane can be a heritage from childhood or it can emerge from adulthood as a result of various triggering factors. I get this one completely. I know so many people who have a really hard time flying. I've flown with people who have a hard time flying. I'm a good flyer. I always have been, but the older I get, the more that fear is coming. And I don't understand why. And I think it's because the older you get, the more um, you have going on, the more, the more you have to live for. No, I, I don't know what it is. There's more stress, there's more fear. The, the realization, you start to question more as you get older. So the more I fly, I used to fly a lot, especially when I lived in Alaska. I was flying everywhere, many times a year, and the flights to get to Alaska were a lot. Like, I had to take two, sometimes three planes just to get there. So then the idea got into my head that the more I was flying, the, the greater my chance was getting of being on a plane that went down. And that was such a horrible thought that now every time I get on a plane, I have to visualize that that's my last moment. <laughs> Isn't that bleak? Emetophobia. Metaphobia is a specific phobia that involves an extreme fear of vomiting, seeing vomit, watching other people vomit, or feeling sick. Okay, not what I thought it was gonna be. I know people who have this. Like, I get it. Like, if someone throws up, I know that if I'm feeling even a little bit sensitive that day, I could probably throw up watching them throw up. I think that's just normal. If you've got a gag reflex, you're gonna throw up. Actually, just thinking about throwing up, it's making me feel a bit sick right now. <laughs> I don't know why. 
Oh God, like I almost feel it. Do I have that phobia? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think I'm just learning something about myself. I feel genuinely quite sick now. I remember when I was at school, my friend put her, thing, her hand through the window and severed her artery and there was oh. blood everywhere. And I was the first one on the scene. And I think ever since then, it just freaks me out. That's gonna me do it. Phobia is the fear of blood. Do you have fear of blood? No. No, I don't. I'm good with blood. Blood's fine. I think I've played too many video games, watched too many horror movies. Yeah. Even like, in, like I, I was a lifeguard. I was a chem counselor. Mm. Like, I saw blood. Not like a lot of it all the time, but I saw plenty of blood over the years. Electrophobia is a rare condition characterized by an intense fear of chickens. The word comes from the Greek word elector, which means rooster, and phobia, which means fear. It's considered a specific phobia. This refers to an irrational fear of a specific object, place, or situation. Oh my god, there's people out there who have a fear of chickens. I mean, a group of chickens could be uh, quite scary, to be honest, if they're all coming at you. But I can't imagine having a fear of them. I mean, I like them, I eat them. So, I mean, sorry, no offense to vegans or vegetarians. Fear of the boogeyman. <sighs> Boogie phobia. Bogey phobia. Bogey. Boggy phobia. Well, There's no E, it's boggy phobia. Oh, boggy phobia. Fear of the boogeyman. Or do you say bogeyman? I like that one. That one's cool. Michael I say Myers. the boogeyman. I love Michael Myers. I've said it before, I'd marry him. You'd marry Michael Myers? He's misunderstood. Michael Myers misunderstood, marry him? Yeah. I th those are the types of people I'm attracted to, are broken people that are just misunderstood and I'm here to help. You mean totally silent people who will kill you if given the opportunity? He needs help and I will help him. Nephophobia is the fear of clouds. Presence of clouds or even taking pictures of clouds can cause anxiety. The fear of maybe developed from traumatic events in the past or even due to hereditary or genetics. I It's got to be the way they look. Maybe that they're so puffy, like I don't know. That's really strange. I mean, I fear clouds when I'm on a plane because it means turbulence. I, I can't even imagine having a fear of clouds. They're so soft. They seem so nice, especially on a blue, a sunny blue sky day. It's very pretty. Agoraphobia. No, it's agoraphobia. Oh. I know this one. Open space. Shortness of breath. Everything. But the world starts closing in on me and everything gets feels really tight mm. the the air my body the, my chest i get to see i i don't know what's wrong i could be sick oh i can't imagine being scared of going outside right sometimes i get anxious when i'm like oh, i've got plans and i don't want to do it but that's just everyone feels that it's like oh yeah. when you've made plans and you'd rather stay home and then somebody cancels yeah, and, and it's you're not like, you and you're like Mwah. you're like this is christmas day <laughs> and you just sit there and do nothing exactly that's the best feeling in the world going home and knowing you've got nothing to do the best the best the best Terophobia, an irrational or disproportionate fear of cheese i mean honestly i do have this but that's simply because i have a dairy allergy so i need to fear these things otherwise i will myself. No one wants that to happen except for Joss, who tells me every day. <laughs> yourself. Gamophobia. A phobia is an excessive fear of something that actually presents little danger but nonetheless makes you anxious. In this case of gamophobia, it's a fear of commitment or marriage. I bet there's a lot of people out there that have this. Personally, I don't. I want to get married. Uh, commitment right now, iffy. Commitment wise, right now I have the fear because I have just been in a in year and a half pandemic and I want to go out into the world and say hello to everyone. But I want to get married. I'm not afraid of that, but I know there will be a lot of people on, which is why so many people cheat. And f*** you if you're a cheater. Are you just afraid they'll pop? Everything. The, the huh? look of them, the huh? way they float, everything. About the way they scared. float? Everything, oh. everything bothers me. About the you're worried about a balloon floating? Yes. What, what, what could it do? Um, I don't know why I just don't like it. Maury, you're being a big you dick right now. He is going to ultimately dick. be the cause of your death. Globophobia. <laughs> you're going to die I'm because of die. a balloon. Wow. Maury, chill out. She's yeah. afraid of balloons. Let her be. Just understand. <laughs> like, everyone has different fears. He's oh, like, wow, you're afraid of a balloon? Oh, what f That's idiot. the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I hope a balloon kills you, idiot. Oh. Yeah. What a dick. God. Balloons aren't like great. I don't love them. I get scared they're gonna pop. I hate yeah. the sound of loud noises. Oh, but definitely. 
the fine, the chill, but I mean, like, I get it. Like, if somebody's afraid of a balloon, like, it's not natural. Balloons are not natural. No, they are weird. And you know that fear. I have that fear where I'm blowing up a balloon and I'm like, oh, do I have one more breath or is it going to explode in my face? What if it, like, reversed, like, down your throat and now you got a balloon Ooh. expanding in your chest? No, I think I would. it would hit the back of my throat and then I'd go, Ooh. Exactly. And, and then, then I would you're, die. You're trying to breathe with the balloons inflating and nothing's getting to your lungs? I, I'd hope I'd die. Oh, come on.